So in this video, we just want to kind of quickly go over a couple ways to create vectors in GeoGebra. We can create them uh, the same way that we create a matrix using the spreadsheet view, but there's an easier way to create just a vector. So suppose that you wanted to make a vector. You could go in uh, where the default line tool is, and in here there is a vector option, and you can create a vector just by drawing it, you click on the tool and you can construct a vector just by clicking a couple points on the screen. Um, the other way that you can do it is in through the input bar and sometimes this is going to be a more convenient way to do it. So the idea is to notice that the default in GeoGebra when you create a point, so here's the point tool, the default in GeoGebra is to use, I'll put one up here, capital letters to indicate points and this is a common convention in geometry. So if I wanted to manually create a point D, I could do capital D equals, and then I could just put in my ordered pair. So let's say I do 3 comma 2. That's going to put a point D right here. Uh, if I wanted to create a vector instead, the convention in GeoGebra is that the vector is going to be a lowercase name. So if instead of putting uppercase D, I just put lowercase D, and I type D equals 3, 2 and hit enter, it's going to construct a vector for, uh, for me. And, and I could create three-dimensional vectors this way as well, uh, especially if I were in the 3D graphics view. We could go into 3D graphics and construct vectors in here by typing them in through the input bar using lowercase letters.